I'm going to show you how to create context-sensitive pop-up help. I do this from scratch and then incorporate the files into an existing online help project. I use FAR HTML to create the CHM file. Then I add the pop-up help to an application I wrote in Power Builder Classic 12.5.2. This demonstration assumes you have some knowledge about creating CHM help using a help editor and basic knowledge about writing code in an application. Context-sensitive pop-up help is a simple pop-up that summarizes in a sentence or two the purpose of an item in the user interface. You enter these descriptions in a text file and then link them to the product with a mapping header file. First I'll show you how to create some content. You can use any text editor to create the content. I like TextPad. You can see that I already have some content defined for my application. Now I'll add the description for a button. For each context-sensitive pop-up, add dot .topic followed by a unique constant. The constant name doesn't matter as long as it is unique. In the next line, add the description text. Save the file. The header file maps the constants to numbers that the application will use to call the pop-up descriptions. It includes the constant names you put into the text file for the pop-up help. For each topic, you add a hash define row with the constant name and a unique numeric topic ID. This ID will be used in the show pop-up help function in Power Builder. Now that I've completed the files I need for the context-sensitive pop-up help, I'll add them to an existing help project and build the CHM file. There are many products for creating online help. I use FAR HTML and this is the project editor. First, I need to add the two files to those that will be included when I compile the project. Select Files, click Options and select Add Files. Choose to show all files. Select the two files and click Open. Second, I need to add these files to the advanced sections for the project. Select Other Sections. Select Map. Click Include File and select the header file. Select Text Pop-ups. Enter only the names of both files. Do not use hash include. If they are not located in the same folder as the help project, you need to indicate the path. I find it's easier to keep them in the same folder. Save the project. Finally, since I've already completed the other pieces of this online help, I can go ahead and compile the project. The compile completes with no warnings and no errors. I can copy the CHM file to my Power Builder project folder. With my online help complete, I can add context help to my Power Builder application. This is a response window in Power Builder with context help enabled. Earlier, I defined context help for the restaurant suggestion text and I'll take it button. I only need to add context help for the give me another button. To access the code, double click the button control. Select help from the events list. Using this syntax, enter the code to call the context sensitive pop-up help. Separate the name of the CHM file from the name of the text file with two colons and a forward slash. Use the appropriate ID from the header file. Save the project. At last, we can see how it all comes together in the application. In my application, I click the Randomizer button to open the Random Restaurant Suggestion screen. Click the Context Help button to activate context-sensitive pop-up help. Click one of the interface components to see the context-sensitive pop-up help. Then I can click Give Me Another to get another suggestion. I click I'll take it to close the suggestion window and I exit my application. These are links to the products I used in this demonstration and also links to helpful articles about context sensitive pop-up help and how to use it in Power Builder. They are included in the description of this YouTube video. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.